Good morning, everyone. Let's spend the day together. I have beautiful hair this morning. <laughs> but check out the view. We have had pretty terrible storms for the past few days, so it is nice to have a sunny day. You hear the birds singing? There he goes. I'm currently charging my phone with this mini solar panel and just angle it towards the sun and there you go you have power and I forgot to put out my solar light this thing is really handy in the evenings when it gets dark so I don't always have to use my fairy lights but yeah he's gonna go in the sun too sun buddies yay <laughs> <laughs> I've got eye boogies. So today is a bit clearer, so I just wanted to show you this is the Rock of Gibraltar and those mountains behind there are Morocco. Isn't that cool? I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> right now I am boiling some water for coffee. I have watching up to do, don't look at that. Um, I've got a coffee prepped and I'm gonna make myself a seeded bagel with egg, maybe an omelette, I haven't quite decided, egg something. And if you're wondering why you're at a weird angle, it's because I've got this <laughs> blanket up, um, because it's quite windy outside, actually the wind's died down, but it's affecting my gas, so, you know. Breakfast! Egg scramble, a couple of pickled onions, because I needed to make space, and plain but seeded bagel. Oh, and a coffee. Cheers. I'm trying to learn to crochet. Bought a little crochet hook yesterday. Why not? I actually made a whole, are you ready? Strip. <laughs> We got a little interesting things going on, but I'm thinking, you know, headbands or like, you know, ear warmers could be fun. No, that doesn't work. Ooh, what about, what about like a bracelet? Like a wrist warmer type thing, you know? Cute. <laughs> I'm just proud of this, okay? It, this was like the first row and then the second row and then the third and then obviously yeah look okay things went wrong <laughs> it's fine but that's why I'm practicing today I'm just practicing chaining which is just the standard oh my gosh and making the slip knot <laughs> let's try and make the slip knot okay so I want less here make a loop Twist it around, right? Oh, crap. Twist it around. And then I'm going to reach over and grab the part that's attached to the yarn. Can you see? Pull it through the loop I made. And that's a slip knot. Yay! Okay. Still learning to like hold things in a certain way but I think I got it and yeah I've just been practicing chaining this one piece of yarn ten times in a go I'm trying to get the right tension oh my gosh 
try to get the right tension everywhere because where you hold it and how tight you pull and what you do it all makes a big difference so yeah see this is a bit too loose the one i did before was a bit too tight so yeah basically i'm just chaining 10 and then unraveling it and chaining 10 again unravel chain 10 unravel chain 10 just to practice and that's what i'm doing and then i do actually know how to do like a single stitch which is pretty cool that's how i did my little woolen strip over there but yeah as you can see i am still learning but i got this hook for one euro fifty and i got this yarn i got two balls of yarn for four euros which is pretty good in my opinion uh oh my gosh see actually i think holding it over my middle finger is a bit more comfortable for me Got my little chain. I like crocheting because you kind of focus on the technique and focus on the technique and then you look down and you've got like a whole chain, <laughs> a whole thing that you just did. Um, I quite like it. Saying that, I picked up this hobby yesterday. So I'm not pretending that I know everything. I am just trying to create things. And today also I'm going to get some painting done because I have a habit of starting paintings and not finishing them like sketching them out and I never actually fill them in so I have two two or three that I actually need to transfer onto a canvas and then fill in so I've got some paint brushes ready for that so I will do that later but for now I'm just going to practice crocheting for a bit can I just say how proud I am of myself I picked up this little hobby yesterday just for the lols, just to see, because I like the look of crocheted stuff, but buying it's really expensive, and it's also just like a fun thing to do. See, you, okay, you can see here, I had a fairly consistent, fairly consistent tension up until about this point, and then it got a bit, got a bit wacky, but it's okay. I think I may have the wrong size yarn for this needle as well, but I don't care. I'm just practicing the movements and it's fun. I'm straight chilling. Sun's out. Okay, you can see it pretty clearly. That mountain range in the back. That's Morocco. Isn't that cool? Hello. I just wanted to do a quick taste test of this amazing Spanish bakery. I don't know how to do taste tests. I don't know if I'm supposed to introduce things, but I don't care. I have already started, sorry. Um, there's this little guy, which is a sticky, jiggly thing. And when I ordered it off the counter, I described it as flan. I said, can I have that flan, please? And she said, no, it's not flan. And then she explained it to me, but it was in Spanish, so I didn't understand. <laughs> and then I've got this guy, which is, let me just show it properly, three layers and some kind of like red on top. Looks really good. I also got a cafe con leche to watch it all down. So good. All right, let's start with the little one because you can't even see it. <laughs> I know this tastes good, but... Mmm. Mmm. It is just the perfect texture. It tastes a bit like flan in the sense that it's that kind of caramel caramel flavor mm. Mm. yummo I love this bakery here I've been parked in the same place for ages which is just around the corner from this little area of shops there's like four gyms in there for some reason there is an international school where they teach kids different languages there's a restaurant and bar there's a supermarket, there's a Chinese shop where they sell like everything, you know, wrapping paper and plates and <laughs> everything. 
and there's this little coffee shop bakery type beat and it's really good okay oh dear oh dear well let's try this mm. oh it's like marshmallow okay I might have to be a monster. <laughs> it's marshmallow. I thought it was cream. It's marshmallow. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. She told me this was sugar free as well. I don't know how, but it is. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's got like flaky pastry, marshmallow, and some kind of raspberry. Raspberry type beat <laughs> on the top. Mm. Mm. This is a good place and I am happy to be here. <laughs>